Hey everybody, my name is Sebastian from Foxtrot Breedables, and this is your update for May 31st, 2023. Just jumping right into it, customer service is going to get a whole lot better. I'm excited. I have given my CSRs, uh, Silence, Mumbles, and Red Kitten, the ability to find your pets. The ability to um, open broken seeds and broken nests. No more will they say, we'll have to wait for Seb for that. They can do it themselves. We've tested it. Now... Things uh, like missing pets, they of course can help you with, um, but if they can't get it to come out of the toolbox, it will escalate to me because that means the pet has been afterlifed or composted, and I'll have to get with you to figure out what we do from there and who did what and where went what. You know, we'll figure it out. Trust me. Um, we at Foxtrot, we come from a place of compassion, and we want to use compassion with you. We know your pets and plants mean a lot to you. So we're going to continue to do what's best and in the name of you, the customer, and the plants. Um, giving the CSRs the ability to help you find your pets again, this was a, a swing toward customer service and putting that customer you first in our books. I put the customers first, I put the CSRs and my staff second, and then I put myself last. And then we, And in doing so, we do better together. Where's the equine horse? I can hear the question in your mind. It's coming. At a minor issue, which I believe we fixed. And so now that that's fixed, I'm finalizing faces and things. We're finalizing some scripting. I'm going to get it over to him. Now these are going to take a little more testing on our end because we're implementing some new systems that may be retroactively implemented in alpacas and green garden. We're not sure. So again, I make no promises about this because we're testing. Um, we're going to see if we can do something and get something done. Um, the sooner I have a release date for you, the better. I know that. Um, lots of note cards about pre-orders. We are not doing pre-orders for the equine horse. Lots of note cards about what will it cost because we said we are going to have to raise the price because this has a lot more development, development in it. It has an independent designer we're working with who made the horse model. We've got to, you know, pay all our bills here. And I, and even though our cost is going up on this singular model, we will release other static models that follow our previous pricing structure. The Foxtrot Equine is a premium of our brand. So it is a little more. It may not be your thing. You may want to stick with Highland Horses, and that's absolutely fine. We'll still be adding codes to that system too. So we'll have effectively two horse systems, the Foxtrot Equine and the Highland Horse. So we'll get all that taken care of. What's next? We are going to be making some updates to the marketplace. We're going to update your rental boxes so that people who aren't renting can't pay it. We've had a couple instances of people paying renting rental boxes that don't belong to them, and they're like, oops. Um, we want to fix that. And we also are going to be able to add the ability for you to put a partner on the box. Now, this will change our rules and regulations slightly, which means we will have a tenant and a subtenant under that tenant. The subtenant will be the responsibility of the tenant. If at any time the tenant would evict the subtenant, they have to try to work it out. If they don't, I will reach out to the subtenant and say, hey, I'm so sorry you're being evicted. Um, I have to return your stuff and give a certain amount of time for them to come pick it up. We had an instance of that this week. And I don't want to run into the problem of getting in between interpersonal relationships. It was a lot of he said, she said, back and forth. And I, uh, that's not what I'm here for. Customer first, but I don't want the, the drama. We don't need the drama. So we're going to rewrite some rules in regard to the marketplace once we roll out those marketplace fixes. And I'll let you know when that's coming. Bid boards. We're going to get bid boards. We're building our own. Not going to use the ones on the marketplace. I'm um, not going to use the rental systems on the marketplace. We're going to keep perfecting our own. The hope is that eventually we will make our own auction system, our own bid board system, our own everything. And you guys will be able to use those for your own sims. If you have a marketplace um, and you want to use bid boards, we'll be able to do that. Um, we probably won't be selling our rental system. I don't know. We've, we've talked about it. We've talked about doing a whole full stack kind of breedable um, business thing, uh, but we haven't done it yet. So we're still in the talks for that. If you guys are interested, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, we're at four minutes. I'm doing great. Um, 
The next item on the docket is Crystal Garden. Crystal Garden will be going to the scripter once I have testable horses. Once I have the testable equines, I've got Green Garden, uh, Crystal Garden already to go to him. So once he's done with this, I'll pass him that. We'll just keep working. And please remember, our scripter works with other companies. And don't reach out to him. If you have a problem with Foxtrot or if you have an issue or a concern, please reach out to me or a CSR and we will do our best to help you. The scripter is an employee, yes, but he's not a customer-facing employee. My partner, Raven, is the same. She is not a customer-facing employee. Um, so please don't reach out to her or our scripter if you need assistance. Reach out to me and the CSR team, and we'll get you taken care of. Um, do, 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 do. I'm trying to think. June 4th is coming. Father's Day LEs are dropping for both USG and Second Life. USG is Utopia Sky Grid Open Sim. is similar to the old in-worlds. Uh, Father's Day LEs are coming for alpacas, donkeys, rooks, bunnies, and in USG only the Highland horse. Um, because that's their horse. That's the horse they got. And it's not going to be fancy or anything. Everybody only gets two over there. They don't have uh, LE drops over there except in their alpacas. So that'll be great. Uh, so I'm excited for that. That will run June 4th. It's on the calendar. It'll run June 4th to the Father's Day holiday. And the very next day after the Father's Day holiday is the LE Firework 2023 right into the 4th of July, which is the American Independence Day. I know not all of our customers are American. We're not going to put the 4th of July on the pets anymore. That's not something I do anymore. We're actually just going to call them firework because we have fireworks on the 4th of July. So the LE fireworks, uh, you're going to have like four weeks of LE drops, like Father's Day, stop, firework directly after. One will stop, one will pick up. Um, I would check your green gardens uh, for the 4th of July drop. Their weeds may change a little bit. You may get some candy or some something. I haven't figured that out. We may do a garden update. Maybe you'll have sparklers you can find. We'll f or a red, white, and blue party hat or something. Um, I haven't implemented that yet, so we'll see what we can do. We'll see what I have time to fix. I want to try to do some more fun stuff with the garden resin. Uh, what's, that? what's next? I'm trying to think. Can't think will eat me. Uh, we are signed up again. Uh, as I said in the last video, we signed up as Spoonfuls of Sugar. Um, the theme is Bora Bora. We are going to do a Green Garden Starter Kit again. Um, this time it's called Rainbow Reef. We will have aquariums and we'll be showing you kind of the development process for that a little bit more closely. I know you guys are very interested in how we develop pets, the process we go through and what we do. Um, and then we have some other products that are non-breedable related that'll be coming soon. And I hope to be able to tell you about those things, tell you our plans for those things and why we're doing it. Are there options for what's coming on the grid? Absolutely. But there's only one option. And so we're looking to like make sure that everybody has a chance to have a low cost, um, highly impactive products on Second Life that do all the things, the big expensive things do with all the bells and whistles, but that you can still enjoy it. That's why Foxtrot Breedables exist. We are a low-cost, low-prim breedable for people who can't afford <laughs> to be breeding brand new starter kits from other companies all the time or buying food all the time. With Foxtrot, you breed when you want to. Your pets are not going to run away. They don't get sick. They don't eat. They don't die. They're always your pet, first and foremost. That's, the, that's putting the customer first. We're removing all those things that emotionally leverage you. Pets getting sick, turning green, like, ugh, dying, dying. No, your pet doesn't need to die. Your plants don't need to die. We've given the choice and put it in your hands, and I'm going to continue to promote that and be consistent about that. This is to, our company is here to put the customer first. Now, uh, we put tons of coats in for rooks, for alpaca, for bunnies up in those higher echelon uh, breeding windows. So if you're breeding up in the 70s, 80s in bunnies, rooks, or alpaca, or donkeys, and it's donkeys, and donkeys too, uh, up in those higher uh, generations of those pets, you're going to find stuff. We got stuff all over the place. I've been putting in coats like crazy between horse dev. So we are, we're looking good. We're doing good. I think we're going to be grand. Um, and I think that's all for today.
If you guys have any questions, please reach out. Don't be afraid to send me a note card, send me an IM, reach out. I do want to say this though, my CSRs, when they are not working for Foxtrot, I would like for them to have their own autonomy. If you do not, if you have a Foxtrot question, feel free to reach out to a CSR. If you don't, let's leave them alone. My wife too, my scripter too. Uh, Foxtrot business only. Uh, so let's let them enjoy their second lives as well. Uh, I don't own them. <laughs> they're, they're good people who have their own lives. Um, and so I think that's it for this week. I'm traveling between June 5th and June 9th. Um, I may be back on the 8th. I'm not sure. We're still working out the days. Um, I'm leaving on June 5th, but now that our CSRs have the ability to find lost pets, you guys are in a good spot that I can go and enjoy myself and not fret. And I hope you guys have a wonderful start to your summer. I think it's going to be grand. Thanks, guys. <laughs>